Hey, what's going on, Dividend Team? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another lovely episode I have for you. We're just going to be doing a portfolio update today, guys. And I'm going to be buying some stocks, maybe $1,000 of stocks, $1,500. We're going to look through them. We're going to see what we got. Guys, I'd appreciate it if you smash that like button. It sure does help out my channel a lot. My name is Dividend Rick, and this is my dividend investment account that I'm building for early retirement, guys. If you like to watch, see what we got. Let's go ahead and get into this. I sure do appreciate it. All right, we got all set up here, and uh, let's go ahead and see what we got. So today's portfolio balance is showing a total of seventy thousand four hundred and ninety-seven dollars. I got five hundred one dollars and ninety-six cents in cash. These are the Stocks that I'm holding, ABBV, Amazon, Air Products, APD, Ford, Coca-Cola, Lowe's, LYBO, Pepsi, Tesla, Waste Management, Walmart, and these are ETFs I'm holding, FLQL, Jeffy, QQY. I only bought that for scientific research purposes. I don't think it's a good investment. I'm not a financial advisor, so don't take my financial advice on that, but I probably won't ever buy that again. SCHD, SPGP, SPHD, TSLY, that's the Yield Max Tesla options. That was bought for scientific research purposes only, and I probably would never buy that again. VOO, which is the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. VTI, which is the Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF. We're going to probably be picking up some more of those today. VUG is Vanguard Growth ETF, and XYLD is a Global X S&P 500 Covered Call ETF. So let's go up here to the top and let's see our investment income, shall we? See what we got. All right, so January. I already talked in the other videos about how much I got in January. $99.17 in dividends. February, $103. March is $100. And, well, I, had, I already got $186 and remaining I have $129. And then next month we'll go over next month. Uh, next month when we get here. It should be $160.70. So let's look at what's actually paying me so far. This is what I received in income year to date. ABBV, $23, $62 from four, $7.83 from Lowe's, $52.97 from LYB, $35.30 from O, Realty Income Corporate REIT. Zero dollars from the rest of these so far this year, but I'll get them next month or the next month after that. ETFs. Zero dollars from FLQL so far. I'll get that later on. I'll get sixteen dollars later on. Under eleven dollars and eighty-four cents from Jeppy. Sixteen dollars from QQQY, but we're still negative on that. Zero dollars from SHG. Zero dollars nine dollars thirteen cents from SPHD. Twenty-one dollars eighty-nine cents from TSLY, but we're still negative on that one. Zero 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 forty-seven dollars and seventy cents on XYLD, and we still got one hundred seventy-six dollars to come for later on this year. These are the totals right here. These are the totals right here, if you can see them. Uh, so I'll get fifteen hundred thirty-two dollars from my ETFs, and I will get nine hundred ninety dollars from my regular equities. All right, let's go over here and pick up some stocks today. What do we want to buy? Go to our positions page. So we do dollar cost averaging into the market. Um, I'm, I'm not going to try and time the market because I don't think anybody's that good. So we need to pick up a VOO. We're just going to pick one up for now. It's kind of pricey. Currently is at $470. So we'll pick up one share of those. Let's go and look at the five year on VOO. Up 83%, guys. There it is. We're just looking for long term uh, stocks retire early before 60, maybe 55, maybe 56 years old. We want to have plenty of money in here to go along with our 401k and our pension. So let's go and pick up one of these today. VOO, information tech, this is what they're holding. Information technology, 30%, financials, healthcare, consumer directs, discretionary, communication services, industrials, consumer staples, energy, real estate, materials, utilities. That's what, uh, it's just SP 500. Let's go and buy one. Let's see where we're at. Move this camera up here. Transition over. Okay, buy one market dollar cost average into market for four hundred and seventy dollars. Here we go. Place order. There it is. There it is, guys. Let's go back. Let's go back to the other screen. What else should we need? We do need a total stock market. That's BTI. That's uh, 
Let's see, $253, guys. Big money, big money. $253 for a Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF that is holding 28% information technology, financials, healthcare, consumer discretionary, industrial, communication services, so everything in the total stock market. Here's the ratings right here. 3233 three, three, average, historical return, average, historical risk. Ooh, it's above average on historical risk. Yikes, let's look at the five year. Five years, it's up 76% in five years, guys. That's pretty good. That means it's what, like 15% a year? That's not bad if you average it out over five years. So let's go and pick one up, see what we got. See if we can pick one of these guys up. So we're going to buy one at market order. $253.76 by place order. There it is. Order is in for one of those. I usually I I put over five hundred dollars a week into this account. I transfer five hundred dollars a week in this account. Sometimes I transfer more, but I never transfer less because I really need this account to grow. I want to have at least a million dollars in here by the time I'm 56, 55, 56, 57 years old. So we always need some Ford. What kind of Ford do we need? So these stocks I have on top, they're gonna to be taxed at the long-term capital gains tax, but the ETFs I have on bottom, I think those are taxed at regular income rate. Uh, you might want to talk to your financial advisor about that. Your tax guy, let's look at Ford over five years. They're up 41.8% over five years. Not bad, not bad. They have a great dividend. Look at that dividend, 4.97%. So how many Fords do we want to pick up today? We're going to, they're $12.11. We're going to do market order. We're not going to buy one. We're going to buy, yikes, guys, let's buy uh, 50. Oh, that's 150. Let's buy 50 shares of four today. Review it. How much is that going to cost me? It's going to cost me $606. Buy it. There it is. Order has been received. What else do we need to buy today, guys? It looks like O is down a little bit. O is at $51.67. O is definitely... You're going to get a dividend every month from O, and you're going to pay regular income tax rate, uh, whatever your tax is on, on the dividends you receive from that every year. I only have three Pepsis. We should probably pick up another Pepsi. Pick up a Pepsi. Let's look at their five-year on Pepsi. They're up 36%. That's really not bad, guys. That's really not bad. Their dividend is 3%. So let's pick up a one Pepsi. Market order. Click. Click, $164.68, down the hatch, there it is, orders in. What else do we want to buy? I just got my bonus a couple days ago, so we're going to put more money in here than I regularly would. Uh, earlier you get your money into the market, time in the market, that's where it's at. You're not supposed to time the market, you're supposed to have time in the market. Unless you're a day trader, don't go trying and time the market. We got 12 Walmarts, that's pretty good. Not buying any more Tesla, even though I probably should fix them up this low price. I do need some more ABBB. Let's let's see what we can do. ABB is $179.38. Look at this five year. Five years are up 125%. They're still climbing. Look at that. Let's see what that dividend looks like, guys. 3.42% dividend. Let's buy a couple of these. How many of these I got 18 point something. I really should pick up 12, but 12 of them would cost. How much would 12 cost? 12 at market order. That would cost me $2,152. We're not going to pick up 12 today. Let's pick up seven. How much would seven cost? $1,255. Ah, do it. Oh, man. $1,255 I just bought on ABBV. Orders in. Close that. Let's go back. Man, I'm on this buying spree today, guys. Buying spree. I'm about to transfer some money over today, aren't I? We're not going to buy any Amazon. Let's buy... What should I buy, guys? What do you think I should get? FLQL. I got 22 of those. I do need Vanguard Growth. How much? That's $338. Yikes. Vanguard Growth ETF. Five-year chart. 118%. All right. Let's pick one up. Let's pick one up. Where are they holding? Information technology, all the same stuff that the SP 500 sold. Let's buy one of those guys. Market order. Here it is. $338. Place order. There it is, guys. 
See, I, I'm just sharing this information with you to let you know that it's perfectly, like you can do it. You can get the money and you can invest your money. You don't have to spend your money on junk, nonsense, you know, and then complain about being broke all the time. And then you have to work till you're 65, 70 years old, um, you know, and turn out broke with nothing. You need to start investing when you're young. I'm not a financial advisor. It's not financial advice, but you should probably do that. Let's pick up a Lowe's. I only have 10 Lowe's. They're a great company, I think. Let's look at the five year. 133% of a five year. What's that dividend showing? 1.8%. $244. We're going to buy one of those. Market order. There it is. Review. $244.32. It is in. Man. I don't know what else to buy, guys. What should I buy? What should I buy? What should I buy? Coca Cola? I, I have a lot of Coca Cola. Um, I'm down $21 on Coca Cola, but my total is $4,189. We bought a Lowe's. Income, Pepsi. Let's, they're $59. Let's buy air products. Let's buy another air products. We'll pick up one air product. Let's get a five year on that air product, 31%. Chemicals, they go up and down like this. They're always up and down. So just dollar cost average into the market, 2.89%. Annual dividend yield buy. Buy market order one two hundred forty five dollars. It is in there. It is guys. So I bought a pretty good amount of stuff today for this week. Down three thousand dollars. I had five hundred. Now I'm negative three thousand. So I'm about to transfer three grand over to my account. I just bought thirty five hundred dollars worth of stocks today, guys. Been on here for twelve minutes and twenty five seconds, guys. Make sure you give that thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up, guys. Make sure you subscribe in the subscribe section. We sure do appreciate it. You know, if you want to be, if you want to get anywhere in life, you're going to have to do the investments on your own. No one's going to come save you. No one's going to do the investment for you. Take your $10 a week, $20 a week, $50 a week, whatever, and invest it into, just, just say, you invest it into the S&P 500. That's averaging 8 to 12% for all the years. There's low years. But there's always higher years after that that brings it right back up, plus whatever it lost. So that if you don't know what you're doing, SP 500, easy. Make a phone call to Charles Schwab or Fidelity or Vanguard or any one of those places, and they will actually help you. Very nice people. Don't be too scared to invest your money. If you don't invest your money, you're losing money. So that's that. Make sure you invest in smart things. Do your due diligence. Look into it. Understand why you're investing in that company. I pro These are probably going to be my investments right here for the rest of my life. I probably won't pick up other things other than this outside of my 401k. My 401k, I have a different types of stocks. Um, but this is why I'm probably going to hold this account for the rest of my life. And I'm probably not going to buy any other things. So I'm just going to keep stacking up on what I got. I'll probably sell this Tesla when it comes back up, or if it don't come back up by the end of the year, I'll sell it that at the end of the year. I'll have to take a loss on it, but that will counter my gains, which will lower my tax rate for next year on this account. All right, guys. Uh, so that's that. I'm going to be holding it. I'm probably going to retire in about 14 years when I'm 56, 55, 56. So we need to try and get this account up to a million dollars. Add that to the money in my 401k. That'll probably be... I probably have 1.2 million in my 401k by the time that comes around, plus 230,000 in my pension. I should have well over two, two and a half million dollars by the time I'm 56 years old, 55, 56, 57 years old around that time frame. Just keep investing. Don't be discouraged. Don't let your buddies and family borrow money. They're not going to pay you back. Just keep investing everything you've got. Just go after it. If that's what you want to do, go after it. Make sure you thumbs me up, guys. All right, peace.